Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here in person and those of you joining us online. We've been having a lot of fun talking about the adventures in Japan and the lessons learned from Karamadera and some of the other spots. And I wanted to share some meditations with you. Going up Karamadera, the, when I went to the mountain, Karamayama is what a lot of people would refer to it. In previous videos, we've discussed why it's called Karamadera. But I, when I first went there, I felt that it was important to me to spend about three days greeting the mountain before I actually went all the way to the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. I felt the mountain call me into certain spots where I would nestle in for meditation and getting a little higher in different days until finally I made it to the top. But there was a strong lesson in that of really enjoying the journey and noticing so much along the way in these deep pockets of spiritual tranquility as I found along the way. So I'm going to take you today to one of those first spots that I really spent a bit of time. So go ahead and allow yourselves to get comfortable. And just breathe in. As you breathe out, close your eyes. And allow yourself to relax. Every single thing within your body, every atom, every cell, begins to relax, letting go, sinking down, comfortable, safe, and secure. Nothing exists in this moment except your peace and the light of Reiki as we prepare to journey into the sacred place of Karamadera. You feel your whole body relaxing, your toes, your fingers, your legs, and your arms. Relax. As you breathe out, you feel your chest and your belly. Release, let go of any stress. Just breathe it out. Down into the earth, where the earth will cleanse it, heal it, renew it. And as you Breathe into yourself. The light of Reiki flows in. The light of love. The light of the pure essence of divinity. Light, love, balance, peace, bliss. It flows in and it flows in from above the crown of your head. And in through your eyes and your ears, your nose, your mouth. Through every vertebrae of your spine. Through every muscle. Your body relaxed, letting go. And you begin to notice within your mind, everything around you shifts and changes. And you find yourself standing at the base of a beautiful mountain. You see the tall steps in front of you. You find yourself quickly reaching the top of these steps. And you find yourself walking under the temple gates. And in front of you is a beautiful rock wall. And this rock wall has many faces as you gaze at the rocks. You notice a beautiful fountain in front of the wall of Kuan Yin. It has patina it over time to a beautiful green. And as you gaze at these large rocks making up this wall, you begin to see faces emerge in front of you. Some old, some timeless. Many faces. Many origins. Many types of nature spirits. All filled with the light of love. The light of holy fire, radiant Reiki light, fills you. Throughout this whole place, you begin to notice a radiant bright light shining down from the sky onto you and into you and through you. And as this light shines into you, you notice that some of the rocks that you look at begin shifting into animal shapes. You see an elephant and a giraffe. You see beautiful majestic cats. You see a warthog that makes you laugh, a rhinoceros. There may be other animals that appear within these rocks or the faces of Buddha 
or other faces that are filled with light. You feel gratitude within yourself and within your heart, acknowledging the rocks, saying thank you, and you begin to walk over to the left-hand side and you begin to ascend some more steps. And on each side of these steps are beautiful orange-red lanterns. Beautiful flowers are growing beside the lanterns. Large trees flowering with pink and white and purple blossoms. And on the right side, you see irises coming up beautiful white and purple irises. And as you continue climbing the steps, you reach a platform and you can hear the sound of children playing and off to the right side, the nursery, with children happily, blissfully playing in the yard, surrounded by all of the love that fills this place. It fills their hearts, it fills your heart. And you see in front of you a large carving of a rock with five babies carved into the front of it. There are bibs placed on the front of each of these babies and flowers in front, honoring the Hizu of the third heaven and higher, the light of love, the light of radiant beauty. And you ascend some more steps off to the left side of that. And you pass a beautiful temple building there's a shrine in this building but maybe a little later we will visit that and you continue walking and the road in front of you the mountain begins to climb up this incline and you find yourself as feeling as though the mountain is carrying you as you ascend the incline of dirt you see a pasture to the right hand side where there's a a lot of dirt surrounded by the trees and their deer that are eating here. And the deer walking around, grazing, looking up at you. You feel so serene, you feel such peace as you connect with the eyes of this deer that is looking at you here. The light of peace flows into you as it flows into this deer, the light of love, as you connect with the eyes of another deer, the light of love flows into you and flows into this beautiful deer. Beautiful, rich brown coats, fluffy white going up his tail. You notice some small spots on one of the deer. The light of peace fills your soul, radiant, radiant peace and you feel gratitude overwhelming within you as you say thank you to the deer and thank you to this place and you find yourself ascending more up this incline and you hear the sound of water and you stop as you look at a beautiful narrow stream of water flowing down icy cold water amidst the warmth of this beautiful day and the sunlight is shining down on you and you follow up some steps to the right hand side. You see a beautiful shrine in front of you, an orange and white building. There's a wooden bell in front of this. You reach up to this white and orange rope and you find yourself shaking the rope back and forth and the wooden bell clings against the building, calling in the light of love radiant and beautiful form of divinity, the light of love. And you clap your hands twice and you bow twice. And you find yourself standing with your waist bent down, looking a bit towards the ground. As you feel yourself moving into a prayer for universal peace, asking the light of peace to flow through you and through all beings. Asking that all life, the rocks, the rivers, the trees, the bunnies, the deer, the cats, the dogs, the people, the elephants, the giraffes, the raccoons, all life feel the light of peace. For when we gather together in the light of peace, Miraculous radiance happens as we awaken to the light of our authentic self. 
You feel the light of peace shining down on you in rainbow colors. You find yourself standing up again and you bow once more, feeling gratitude to this beautiful shrine. And you walk around over the left-hand side of it. And you see, as you walk down the path a bit, a beautiful koi pond down below. And some ancient stone steps open before you. And you find yourself compelled to walk down to where this koi pond is. And you see the koi swimming in circles as they're so excited, knowing what awaits you here. And you find yourself, as you walk around the koi pond, you hear the sound of water again, and the trickling of a beautiful fountain opens up in front of you. You can see the light shining through the water that is trickling down from this fountain in front of you. And you notice that on each side of the fountain are old stone offering spots. There is a bowl of sand, an ancient old stone bowl, where you can place some incense. The incense is a beautiful emerald green color. You find you have it in your hand and you place it in this and you notice there's a lighter there and you light the incense. The smell wafts through you. It smells ancient, timeless, as though you can smell the scent of the spiritual, the pure, the radiance flowing into you, beautifully radiant, peaceful light. And you find yourself so compelled to watch the water for a moment, and it seems as though it makes patterns as the water washes down into the beautiful spot below where grass is growing up and flowers grow. And you notice the trees that surround this place. Overlooking high above you, there's a tree. And you feel its energy shining down, radiating down, down, down. And you begin to notice over on the right-hand side another place for offerings. And there's a black rack that has small spots where candles can be placed. And you find you have a candle in your pocket and you pull it out and you set it on a small pin on the black rock and it stands nice and tall and straight. And you use the lighter and you light the candle and you hear the sizzling sound as the flame lights and you see the radiance of the light reaching up in this beautiful st ancient stone box. And your attention returns again to the waterfall in front of you. You can hear the fire crackling on occasion in the candle as the light of spirit is so strong in this place, the essence is so strong, and you feel the fire within your heart awakening. If you have the essence of Reiki within you, you feel the energy of Reiki awakening. You may even feel your hands getting warm or tingling as the light of Reiki activates within you. And you find there is a beautiful stone right next to you and it is just the right size for sitting on as you allow yourself to sit on this stone and draw your awareness into the waterfall. And nothing exists in this space except you and the waterfall. And you allow yourself to relax deeper and deeper and deeper as you step into the space of timelessness. Into the in-between where all that is is sacred. Where you feel yourself relaxing even more, letting go even more. If any other thoughts flow in, simply release them away with your breath as you feel yourself letting go deeper and deeper and deeper, letting go. The radiance of the light of love shines down on you as the beautiful light of sun in the sky shining down, creating rainbows of light. Whatever colors you see, 
Those are perfect for you. Every color has its own spectrum, its own frequency that it vibrates at. Its own blessing that it brings. Whatever colors you see are perfect for you. As you allow yourself to bask in this beautiful waterfall, the essence of a Sui Sensei, the essence of many ascended masters of the higher heavens, radiant and fill of wisdom, fill this place. As you allow the sounds to wash over you, the light of healing to flow through you, balance, peace, bliss, light, love, Santin 
Sandindara Shanti Om Sandindara 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 Shanti Om Sandindara 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 Shanti Om
It is who you are as you feel yourself again, reflecting on the waterfall in front of you, feeling the stone beneath you, noticing the candle that you lit, is still flaming, beautiful. You smell the scent of the incense. A gentle breeze blows through the air and you feel the light motivating you, awakening the starlight within your heart, the light that shines in this beautiful sacred space. It inspires you, it awakens you, ready, motivated, excited for the day ahead, for the week ahead, for the month ahead. Feeling your divine nature, your authentic light within you, strong and radiant. You are able to achieve anything that you need to achieve. You are able to feel the light of love and the light and the radiance of peace flowing through you in everything you experience here in this life, in this body, as you remember the light that is in you, this beautiful, radiant, great light that is who you are, and you find yourself standing up in this place and feeling gratitude to the waterfall in front of you as you bow slightly to the waterfall, feeling deep gratitude for all that is in this place as you turn around and you see the koi fish behind you and you see that they're all looking at you. They've come closer as they feel the light within you as well and you bow to the koi fish. And you see them with excitement as they begin to dance a bit and swim through the pond and you find yourself walking up those ancient stone steps in front of you. Going back towards the beginning, back towards where you started and walking across the platform there and you find yourself walking back down those steps with the orange lanterns on each side of you. And you find yourself walking back, down, 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 and you see that rock wall in front of you to your left-hand side. And you bow to the rocks and you feel joy welling up within you. The light of joy springs up within your heart and within your mind. You feel so light. You feel so carefree. You feel so joyous. As you feel the light awakening within you and you begin to feel yourself returning from this magical, beautiful place, Karamadera, and you feel yourself coming back into your body. And you can feel yourself sitting in the room where you are. You notice as you breathe in, you can breathe in the clear air that is in the room where you are. You are right where you are supposed to be here in this life, in this body, as you begin feeling your fingers and your toes and you envision within your mind's eye the room in which you are sitting. You feel yourself connected to the earth. You feel a white light flowing through you, cleansing, healing, and empowering you. And an amethyst mist swirls around you, purifying and protecting you. You are like a radiant tree. You feel your torso and your arms and your head reaching up to the heavens above high up to the sky, you feel the strength of the tree within you and through your spine and you feel those roots from your hips all the way down your legs and down into the earth. You feel yourself connecting into the earth, grounded, rooted, stable, safe and secure. A radiant mere shield begins to form around you about three feet off of your body, reflecting out, reflecting away. Anything not for your best and highest good reflects off of this mirror shield back to the sender with love, transmuting that energy into that which is positive while protecting you in the process. As you take a deep breath into yourself and you feel the light filling your lungs and you visualize the room in which you are sitting. And as you feel ready, opening your eyes, coming back, as you are ready, taking as long as you would like, remembering this space 
where we are all one in the light. I see the space within you. I see the light within you in which you are connected to the light of the wholeness of the universe, the cosmic origin of creation and the great spark of creation enabling you to create whatever you choose here in this life. I see that light in you. I know that light is in me. And in sharing that light, we are one, we are the same. We are one. Namaste. Please carry this light forward in your life today and through the week and through the month and through the time ahead. Carry this light as you walk forth, peacemaker, creator, peace bringer, conscious of your life here in this realm at this time. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you again next week.